Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about something that uh, Eddie Brock, our friend on Facebook, found on uh, on Amazon actually. So you know, I, I did that video a couple episodes ago that Bleeding Cool, they do this thing called Amazon Fishing and they go online and they look on Amazon to see what new trade paperbacks are listed that come out like later in the year or like six, seven months ahead of time. And that's something ever since they started doing it, I started doing it. And so sometimes I'll find little nuggets. Well, this time Eddie Brock, our friend on Facebook, found this little nugget it and he shared it on his page so I'll put a link to his Facebook page make sure you go like him on Facebook he posts about Venom all the time shares a lot of artwork a lot of cool stuff so make sure you check out his Facebook page and also uh, I'll put a link to the Amazon page down below to Venom First Host and it's written by Mike Costa and art by Mark Bagley at least that's what it's saying right now and what I'm thinking is that as we talked about in a recent episode uh, the nativity I think it's gonna spawn out of the storyline that they're setting up here because uh, with the new story coming Coming up in May with the relaunch of Venom, it sounds like that story doesn't have room for a Venom offspring storyline. It sounds like Eddie Brock, he's going to be fighting this creature from a thousand years ago that is going to come back and you know into our reality and it's going to you know fight and try to take over New York or destroy New York. And Eddie Brock apparently is the key to fighting it. Uh, it sounds like a very different direction than something they can weave like an offspring storyline into. So I kind of theorize that maybe Mike Costa and Mark Bagley, who are working on this and creating a, essentially a new symbiote, which is cool for Mark Bagley because he co-created Carnage. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is a neat thing actually. And I, at first I was like kind of down on the idea of another offspring, but in the nativity they even mentioned in the letters column that it might not even be a symbiote. It might still be alien, but it might not be a, a pure symbiote. Could be something completely different. And if that's the case, then that's kind of putting a twist on the old trope that we see a lot in Venom comics. So that would actually get me interested. So uh, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, first host, it says first host book one is listed as. So I'm wondering, or my theory is, is that either it's like a 12 issue series that they're going to do, or it's a, a, a potentially a new ongoing book that's going to come out simultaneously uh, with the main Venom book. So you'll have the main Venom book every month, and then you'll have a book called Venom First Host. And I don't know what first host means. For all I know, it's the, the, the symbiote baby. Uh, finding its first host, maybe that's the story, or maybe it's about uh, a prequel storyline of somehow, and it sets up the baby uh, offspring storyline. I, I don't know. Uh, it sounds neat. It sounds interesting. It, you know, we don't have a lot to go off of right now. We just know that the trade paperback is coming out in December, and let's assume that maybe five issues, four or five issues at the least are going to be in this trade paperback, then that would maybe make the book come out like around July or August. So you can have August, September, October, November, four issues, and then have the trade come out in December. Uh, or if it comes out in July, you could fit five issues in and have the trade come out. Or maybe it's just a standalone graphic novel. Maybe Venom First Host is going to be a new series of just straight to pa trade paperbacks. Because uh, DC does that sometimes. And honestly, I miss the days of original graphic novels where they would tell a story in an original graphic novel so that you didn't have to wait monthly to read it they were just like hey we're going to give it to you all at once that would be cool if that's the case but it does list it as book one so that makes it very interesting and makes me wonder if this is a new ongoing side project that mike costa and mark bagley are going to do together to create some new characters in the venom universe and maybe even some characters that we might see in the movie because i'm guessing the movie is going to take some liberties and maybe even uh put some twists on old characters or maybe invent some new characters and maybe that's kind of what these books will reflect is that that tone and that feeling of, uh, of what the movie's trying to do. So um, I don't know. I just want to know what you guys think. I want to bring this to your attention and I want to thank Eddie Brock again for posting this on his Facebook page uh, and I will put a link again down to his page down below. Make sure you like him on Facebook and check out this Amazon link. Like I said, nothing much to go on. It just, uh, it's just a, a, a listing in words, no pictures, no description, no nothing, uh, but it's enough to go off of for me to speculate a little bit and wonder what this story is. So I wanna hear what your opinions are. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.